Hi everyone, I'm Will Sharp, the director of The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne. Today I'll be talking you through the theatre scene from the film. Is this, is this your first time? Yes, it is. It is. Oh. It's exciting. Good. So this was shot in a real period theatre in London. This was one of, the, one of the scenes that we were very careful to make sure we had storyboarded. Actually, more than anything, because we had a limited amount of time uh, in the theatre itself. Uh, and it just meant that, you know, we had a very clear plan of action and we knew how long we had for each beat. One of the initial challenges, I suppose, was to make sure we could safely get the shots that we wanted to get. For example, you know, this opening track uh, along the sisters as we find Louis in distress. That was carefully rigged by Ronan, uh, our grip. It's also the scene where we start to get a sense of that un underlying anxiety that has kind of haunted Louis from his childhood. And uh, he, he wrote a fair bit um, in his journals about how he was haunted as a kid by this recurring nightmare that he called the sea full of big ships. Um, and so you can kind of hear in the sound design how it starts off being a more naturalistic kind of period theatre storm sound and it starts to segue into a more kind of sound effecty psychological space. There are little fragments here of I guess what you could call his mind um, which we shot with um, miniatures in a, in a water tank and we shot them at a, a low frame rate which is what gives it that kind of synaptic feeling um, and you know uh, we got very wet in the shooting of this, kind of manually creating waves in this little water tank. Um, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then these are some of the sequences, these are some of the shots where we projected them and then shot them back onto 16 millimeter film. And these shots actually uh, from the batch that was sent to be hand processed um, by a guy called James Holcomb, who's one of the few people who still hand processes film. And he sort of scrunched it up and put acid in the bath and de deliberately, I suppose, distressed the film so that it would come back with that slightly scratchy, anxious aesthetic. Um, this is the gentleman's toilet. Yes. Sorry. The toilet set was actually built uh, in our studio space uh, because, believe it or not, we found it very difficult to find a theatre that looked good that also had kind of period toilets that felt right uh, for the scene. Actually, it meant that we could do nice things like uh, you'll see at the end of the scene shooting through a two-way mirror, which kind of speaks to, you know, the psychedelic, kaleidoscopic uh, aspect of the story, kind of early clues about where we might be headed. We've seen earlier in the film that Emily has been snooping in uh, Louis's journal uh, and she started to see these slightly kind of, on the surface of it, sinister seeming sketches and uh, doodles, if you like. And I suppose we might be wondering at this point if she's going to be put off by that, uh, if it might scare her away. But actually, I think what's really lovely about how Benedict and Claire play this scene is that it's so innocent. Uh, and I, interestingly, the more we played actually into the thrill and excitement for Emily of being um, in this place that she wasn't really meant to be, the more it felt like it brought out the humour and the sort of romantic tension uh, between them. Uh, and, you know, you can see, you know, this is one of the many scenes where you can see the really lovely chemistry between uh, Benedict and Claire. I might have accidentally looked in your journal. Oh, that, that was nosy. I'm afraid it's one of my many flaws. Nosiness. I'm very nosy, yes. Emily makes the choice to follow Louis to the gentleman's bathroom and to be sort of curious to find out more about him and he seemed in distress, why was he in distress? And to, I guess to just to try and know him better um, and so I really wanted to have a sense of, uh, you know, Emily taking an active role uh, and putting herself, I guess, in harm's way in pursuit of this uh, romantic relationship. It was a mutual thing. Um, and equally, I guess, it's also a scene where, again, sort of as economically as we could, we wanted to give a sense of the sort of ridiculousness of certain Victorian attitudes. Um, and so 
I guess there's a sense of the awkwardness of uh, her being in a in a men's toilet and the fact that this pivotal scene happens in a slightly bizarre place uh, also I think leans into you know the general playfulness that we try to have sometimes with the, the telling of the story. I hear you got a little bit confused about the lavatories. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne in cinemas soon.